money. Ladies and gentlemen, Fish Tank people, what is up? Shane back again, Wednesday night. Um, just did my third subscriber exposed video. Check that out on uh, Mikey. Um, I was on the chat and Noah was talking to me. He has a 55 in his basement, I believe he said. And he was wondering about cichlids. And I, I've talked a lot about cichlids. I haven't really talked too much about the differences, so I figured I'd do a video for him. Um, this is my Mabuna tank, or Mbuna. Um, these guys are rock-dwelling cichlids, and they generally tend to stay under five inches. I think the biggest one gets in the six or seven inch area, but most of them that you can get at the store stay under that five inch area. So, um, pretty easily housed in a smaller tank. I'd say 36 would be the smallest. I'd, even a 30 gallon would be okay for uh, some Mbunas. Now, Mbunas are rock dwellers in the fact that they live inside of the rocks, so they'll be swimming around a lot, and in the, in the wild they are um, found in huge concentrations of their own species. So they're always, the males are always fighting with each other for um, food within that concentration. So never put two males of the same species together. You always want either a male and a female, even two females would be okay. And uh, as, as with the, the haps too, these guys are dimorphic. So the males, for instance, I'll give you an example. This happens to be a female Kenyai, completely blue. That happens to be a male Kenya, completely yellow. Exact same species, different sex, completely different colors. The coolest thing about it is, if I took this male out and I put in another female, they wouldn't necessarily fight, but one of them would start to turn a bit yellow. So they would both go from completely blue to yellow because there's no male presence. So whichever one the dominant female takes on male colors. Really, really cool how some cichlids do that. Um, these guys are diggers, so you want to make sure that when you put your rock work in, you put it all the way down on the glass and then add the sand or dig it down into the sand very, very well so they don't dig all the way under it. If you can see down there, that exasperatus has dug a hole all the way underneath that rock, all the way to the back. So, um, really, really cool fish to watch. Great colors and fairly cheap. There's not, like I've said before, there's not a fish in this tank that's more than 10 bucks, I think. Um, the most expensive in here, I think, is nine dollars, and you can get them at, I think, the Yellow Labs at Petco are six bucks. Uh, Kenyas are about the same, six or seven. ACI is the same, so really cheap to start a tank, uh, no doubt about it. The red zebras are about the same. All of these fish, except for maybe the exasperatus and the red top, um, are, are you can all find them at your local pet store pretty easily. Um, they like the peacocks and haps like their pH a bit high so generally a lot of city water is high pH so it comes out almost perfect honestly um, and then they have sick Seachem has a really good cichlid uh, riff like buffer that you can put in your water I don't do it I just take mine straight out of the tap and it's almost perfect um, high hardness and medium to high pH uh, is where it's at for cichlids for sure and with Mbunas um, because of the aggression and they're so used to being so concentrated in the wild, you actually overstock them. And this is pretty good for my tank. If I have a 37 gallon, I think I have 12 fish in here if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty close. For a 55, you want to be closer to 20, 22. And it seems like a lot because these fish aren't nearly as big as they're going to get. They're going to get really big, but uh, five to six inches. And the reason being is because when you have that many fish, it spreads out the aggression. If you put two fish in there, eventually the more dominant one is going to kill the less dominant one. When you have 20, the more dominant one may chase one, but then he gets distracted by another shiny one that he wants to go see. So with Mbunas overstock, they are a bit more aggressive, but they're cheaper. Um, and with more fish, obviously you want to over filter. So I have a penguin um, emperor series here that's rated for, I think 55 gallons on a 30, 37. So it's, it's solid. Um, and you'll want to make sure that you keep your water change regiment aggressive. Another thing with these guys is you guys have seen it in my videos, I grow algae on the rocks, so um, it, that, that's 70% of their diet, and then some small crustaceans, so it's really easy to digest proteins, and they're, they're, uh, a lot of people will say stuff about Malawi bloat, if you give them too much meaty foods like blood worms and beef heart and all that kind of stuff, so you want to stay with a solid cichlid staple like a New Life Spectrum pellet, 
and then you can even throw in a couple algae wafers here and there it's not going to hurt anything i actually put fertilizers in this tank even though there's no plants just so i get algae growth in the tank so and you'll see them um at the night time towards the end of the night you'll start seeing them all, all every one of them will be grazing all on the glass and i let the algae grow on the sides and on the back of the aquarium so uh supplements there Diet's really great for them, and you don't have to worry too much about algae because they'll keep it under control, even if you are dosing. Um, they're mean as shit, like I said, so keep them close to keep uh, more than um, you normally would with a regular fish. You can keep Cynodonis cats with them. Uh, don't put them in there too small. Make sure you get a decent sized center to put in there. You don't want them because they'll rip them up if you're small, but once it gets bigger, they won't mess with them. Um, lighting, it doesn't matter. There's no plant, so it's not a big deal. But for me, I use two TH strips. And what you want to do is use whatever color light your fish are. So for me, I use two because I have a daylight bulb, which really brings out the yellows and orange, if you can see here. And then I have a 10,000K, which brings out the blues and the purples. Um, so all of them look really, really good. If you can see the pink in the back, that's the 10,000K. It looks really sharp. And the yellow right here up front looks pretty sharp himself so um, any of the color max balls are really good that's what I use on my peacock tank and they do pretty well that way too uh, temperature keep it between 75 and 80 and here's what I'll say to you if you keep it at 75 your fish's metabolism slows down a bit so they don't produce as much waste but you don't have to feed them as much therefore not as much nitrates etc so maybe not as much water changes if you keep it at 80 like i do uh, i keep mine at 79 you're going to be able to feed them a bit more a few times a day um but you're gonna have to keep up on your water changes too i just i like to feed my fish so i want to see them eat all the time but um yeah so higher temperature higher metabolism metabolism they eat more produce more waste etc etc so not uh not a huge issue on that just be within that range i'd say um, also, mabunas are grazers, so they eat all algae all day, all the time, and they eat little crustaceans. So if you can, feed them a couple times a day. It's cooler for you, but feed them just small amounts a couple times a day rather than one big feeding. It really mimics their natural habitat much better. Um, uh, dimorphic color, males and females um, can get completely different colors or maybe a more bright color or... Um, some of them look fairly close. Some of them look fairly uh, fairly easy to tell the difference, and some of them are really hard to tell the difference between male and female. Do water changes often. Um, they sand sift, so you'll see them sift through the sand a lot, so it actually makes your maintenance a lot easier. They'll clean it up for you. Never put two males in the same tank. Malawi, bloat, watch for it with the meaty proteins. Don't feed them bloodworms too often. Brine shrimp is okay. Um, emerald entrees is okay. Peas is great, lettuce is good, cichlid staple, all that good stuff, flakes is fine. Spirulina flake is the key to coloration, by the way, blue-green algae. Um, very, very hardy fish, so keep your water changes up, medium to high pH. Cheap fish, really easy, I'd say 30 plus gallon tank. I said tell me what's really going on, Drizzy back up in this thing, I'm ready, what's happening?